Okay, we're making this video because we pack too much. And when I say we, I mostly mean Taylor. <laughs> so basically what happened is we planned for one trip in Italy to be in Italy the entire time and we ended up leaving Italy, going to Portugal, and then now we're gonna travel back to Italy. We just wanna talk about the things that we would leave in and the things we would leave out if we were to do this trip again, or if we wanted to remain flexible. So what are some things that you packed that you would leave in or leave out for next time? I definitely packed a lot. I packed a lot of clothes. I can get rid of probably even more than half of my clothes. Shoes, I can get rid of one pair. How many pairs do you bring? Four. Okay. So I can get rid of one. The things I'm really excited about that I packed, I brought a TRX and I am loving it. We've been hanging it up in our Airbnbs and it's been awesome to be able to maintain my fitness routine, my movement routine. Yoga mat, that's been essential. Obviously I need that and I wouldn't change that either. Maybe a lightweight travel mat though. Yeah. We want to stay physically active and we want to stay um, as healthy as possible while we're traveling. The TRX and the yoga mat, those have been awesome. And if you've got a five pound yoga mat and a four pound TRX, you take out one pair of shoes and you get a lighter yoga mat. I think that traveling can be an easy excuse for people to like let go of their routines. So I wanted to find a solution and a way to just keep maintaining it as we're traveling around. So I brought not a lot of clothes. Four pairs of pants, I brought three shirts and a bro tank, underwear and socks, a pair of shoes and a pair of sandals. Three tops, I'm super impressed and he says he would even downsize. Yeah, I'd probably get rid of one. <clears throat> I also wanted to use this trip as an opportunity to shoot some stuff for the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Judo company I work for. So I brought a lot of spats and rash guards and I brought a, you know, a Jiu Jitsu uniform um, to shoot some social media videos while we're here. I also brought a ton of camera equipment to shoot all that. I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about how much I love convertible travel gear. He really does. <laughs> the camera bag that I got from Lowepro is a roller bag and it converts into a backpack. One pair of pants that I brought uh, zip off at the knees, which I know doesn't sound stylish. Practicality is its own style. Sexy. <laughs> I also brought a wool shirt, which is super lightweight, dries quickly, and doesn't retain odor. It's pretty awesome. As far as luggage, I brought the camera bag that converts into a backpack, a personal item carry-on, just a large wheeled checked luggage bag. Yep. Here are two tips that people have shared with me in the past that have worked really well when I'm packing. One tip is pack everything you want in your bags for the trip. Then you go back in, unpack half of it. Repack what you've got left, and then unpack a third or half of that. What you're left with is just the essentials and probably some things you won't need anyway. So that's one tip. What I did do was take out half, and then I did not take out the other half. That was hard for me. Tip number two is, and I, I haven't had an opportunity to do this one, but I think it's pretty cool. Pack one or two changes of clothes, all the underwear and socks you'll need, and then buy the rest of your clothes in the country or city that you're going to. So if you got the budget for that, I think that'd be really cool because you end up with new clothes and you save a ton of room in your luggage. Just to recap, number one, pack the essentials. Keep it really simple, really basic, things that you can use anywhere. Number two, convertible items and lightweight items. So those are things we've learned in this trip that turned into almost a completely different trip. Okay. Um, if you've got any tips that work for you, let us know and happy travels. Peace out.